We just need to take it up to the next level. I wonder if I take it back and be like, yeah, block this into the same body. Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve. My name is Cold. Yeah, it's freezing. Anyways, today we got the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi Lola 5-9 that we got on clearance. Oh, why are we breaking this thing? Um, I, know, I didn't really like this droid, to be honest. That and it turns on them in the middle of the series because it gets, like, taken over. Does it really? I have not seen the Obi-Wan Kenobi, so, yeah. It's fairly predictable, and this was in the clearance aisle. I thought it'd be something kind of fun to do. Kind of knife. We already talked about this. There you go. Use the hammer like I did. Alright. There we go. See, if a hammer can't solve your problems, you're not on the right channel, Steve. But sir, this might be worth something about you. Oh, it actually looks kind of neat. Well, it was originally, I think, like 90 bucks. Oh. So, it's kind of expensive. Granted, I didn't pay nearly that much, which is the main reason we're doing what we're doing. It does come with little legs. Ooh, do they go in here? I think they do. I think they oh. do. So they hook in. They're not posable. And there's the body here. I'm trying to look at the legs and I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should be aiming at this thing that Steve is messing with. Yeah, probably. So how do we put the batteries in? The flaps? It's got mud flaps. I see this here, there's a button. I think that's where the uh Yeah. Don't put it in yet. I'm pretty sure the batteries go somewhere down there. But uh, I want to. Do I have to take this entire thing off because that would hurt my feelings? Where's the instructions? You know, it helps if you read, Steve. Oh, you do! Oh, <laughs> there's a screwdriver. We'll be right back after these messages. Alright, we got batteries in it. So right now it's on the flying stand. Shut up, I'm talking! Anyways. Let's so somehow it. it's voice activated, you could... Also shows lights, like depending on stuff. I'm not going to get too elaborate in this thing, but it does move a lot. Yeah, it won't shut up. At first, like first five seconds it was cute. Now he's like annoying. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, so that's like the... Oh, that's pretty sweet. All right, let's murder it. <laughs> All right. He heard us, Steve. He was like, please don't. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, so you Star Wars fans, it's uh. Oh, you want to put it on the leg stand too, Steve? I know. I guess. You actually, I don't know. This would probably be sturdier. Yeah. Also, I feel like since it's a flying robot, we should probably actually hit it while it's flying. It is. It's on a flying stand. <sighs> Fine. What more you want? Oh no my god. Get the f How do you think this? <laughs> Please don't follow Steve's instructions if you want to keep this thing alive. <laughs> right? I was going to say, I should be nicer to it, but then again, we're... <sighs> but it's kind of adorable to smash. It is kind of cute. I think it's going to slightly hurt my feelings to do this. Granted, I think what I see <laughs> what I see here at like the ninety-ish dollars, it's cool. But I don't like it's, it's literally just something you have like sitting on your office desk. Clearance for less than twenty bucks. Oh my god, it got that low. Yeah, it was. Oh. I, it was like a little over ten dollars I paid for this thing. So there was no sales at all on this thing. Yeah, there was quite a few. Now it's whistling. I mean, now it's like asking. It's asking for a pound town beating. All right, you ready? Oh yeah, we're gonna take the man. We'll get the batteries out. You remember that smart idea me kind of had of burning the thing and yeah, you know, when I say a fire, we're just hitting it. Yeah, if it's you, not as dramatic if it's not trying to move the entire time we're doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna back up. Let's just because the batteries are over here, so I'm gonna try not to aim for there. Okay. And you go ahead, Steve. Right, ready? Oh, you are a monster. He's still alive! He's still alive! You suck at your job. Oh, I only took off the one thing. Oh, the flap still works. It is. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's still going. <laughs> Where'd the feet go? I don't know. Oh, alright, we got a fracture. All that hammering, Steve got a hairline fracture on a robot. You kill it. Surprisingly, it's going good. No if it survives this, I've got to take it. No wonder the Skynet wins. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Still alive! He's still good. Oh, God, he might just become battle damaged. <laughs> See, uh, you can't. Oh, uh, might have broke something internally now. The flaps are not moving anymore, Steve. Here, you grab it. Let me show you how it's done. All right. Ready? Yep. Steve, he don't work no more. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of half a force there. He. Bounced a few feet up in the air. It's still intact. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta resort to violence. Oh, goodness. <laughs> As he's knocking over the camera. Okay, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Safety first. What about me? <laughs> You're the one with the axe. Who needs you don't need to be safe. Hey, oh, <laughs> I would have hit that light. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no way. And this thing. Okay, you know what? This can survive an earthquake easily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, we got a fracture. Hey, look, he's part of the X-Men. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Okay, we probably should take the batteries out now. <laughs> uh, I think this thing will uh, go on the list as very durable. Yeah, this thing uh, definitely took things like a champ. That is honestly kind of impressive, because I thought this thing was just going to fall apart as soon as we started hitting it. Like, there, like I figured there was going to be some tabs inside of it or something that were going to break, and that would just kind of fall apart. Like, look at this. Like, we took things off of our wall of shame. I mean, I got pieces over here that fell off. I don't even know how this was hooked in there. The nail's not even all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> we don't question the logics of this wall, Steve. There we go. Um, I don't think we can use oh. some of these. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, hey, if it didn't break the case, it's probably fine. There's no battery leak. There's not leaking. Hey! This is why we're not allowed to have stuff, Steve. Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll put this in my pocket, and if my uh, if it starts gets feeling hot, hot, we have an issue. Right, you want to hold? Yeah, you want to finish it off, Steve? No, let's get a... Tear it apart on the inside? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Hold up. I don't know what he's doing. You found my screwdriver drawer. I'm gonna see what the insides look like. We couldn't break it with an axe, so you know this is a durable toy, people. Can you? You like how oh, like you have those people at restorations that are like all nice to these things and like working through it. And, and then you have like, us. You have us. Can't keep up with Steve's arms. God, yeah, this thing's together. Like I said, I figured it would pull apart pretty damn easy. I see the motors now. Whatever. I think that's as far as we're getting. That's as far as you're getting. Get out of here. Further. Pop up against the wall. Just 
just so you can see the struggle of Steve trying to break this thing. It's almost impossible. All right? Perhaps uh, Hasbro? Hasbro make this? Yeah. yeah, Hasbro. Go Hasbro. Oh, I just put that. <laughs> Screwjack. <laughs> Yeah, it'll probably help. We'll probably just take out the other screw. <laughs> oh my god, don't you. Steve, if you gotta unscrew it, you're not breaking it properly. I'm okay? failing, I'm sorry. It's too well hooked together. We just want to see your inside. I can't get a NECA stuff. alien to keep a leg on, but Jesus Christ, it's Star Wars <laughs> true. <laughs> that's what I said. That's why Skynet wins, Steve, and we lose. Although, also after doing all this, I'm probably going to keep the springs. There's some stuff here that's useful for other things. Oh, yeah. There we go. Did I miss one? I did miss one. I want to see the insides of you. Yeah. Can Take you that screw it? slow. Take that screw off slowly, Steve. Or up the place in the background. <laughs> oh, well. oh, all right. That's why I stopped working. We got we lost a uh, wire. I think that's the only reason. It is. I only that's the only thing I'd see clearly missing on the inside. That well, then. Oh, we broke this mechanism. Oh, let me see the mechanism. There, there's part of it. Well, no, like, like your kid, like going. Off a table, it would probably have been fine. Uh, I say this thing is very durable. Uh, I take back this thing. You had eighty bucks for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it, people. Good job, Hasbro. Right. I would clap if my hands weren't busy. Ooh, I get the I get to keep all the light stuff too. Sweet. Oh, I think Steve is gonna use it. That one is not going in trash. This one get yeah, like I mentioned, a lot of this stuff tends to get repurposed for other things eventually. Uh, I have a box. We have reused, reused a lot of the, like, even like some of the toys, like we use the joints and stuff. Like I'll use those for making like custom figures for people. Look at this massacre. Hey, we got a flap. <laughs> got some screws. Um, Not sure what I would ever need them for. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, just to beat those kaijus. Uh, Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. Guys, like you both the David channel and donate. Uh, Greatly appreciate it. What <laughs> <laughs> um, If you guys would like to pick up some Star Wars collectibles for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Help support the channel and also get yourself some nice memorabilia. My nose is probably running. Um, it's cold. Yeah, it's freezing out here. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye.